Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to link virtual network to Azure private DNS zone. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logged on to the portal. Let me go back to my home screen. Do this. This. If you remember, we created virtual network. We created a private DNS zone as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we have to create a virtual network link. Okay. So I'm going to go to my, uh, let me go to my resource group in which I created my private link. Sorry, private Azure DNS. This is the resource group. And if you don't find it, you can type in here, private DNS zones. This is our private DNS zone. Click on it. And you see here, settings, under settings, you see virtual network links. Click on it. You click on add. And you type in the link name. You can type in my link. Virtual network. This is the virtual network B created and uh, select the auto registration checkbox what it does it in this settings enables automatic creation of dns records in the private dns zone for the virtual machines connected to the virtual network so we don't have virtual machines yet but i will create virtual machine also so you click on ok so it is creating a virtual network link it will take few seconds Okay, so we see the link here. Refresh. Now we'll create the test virtual machine. You can test your uh, private DNS as well. So let me do this and go on to the portal again. And I do this. And I'll create a 2016 data center VM here. Here it is. I'll create two. I will place it in the same. So this. My VM one East US no username and password. No, no. and I do this three eight eight. Three eight nine disk networking. Make sure that the VNet that we selected created is selected. Rest all off as of now. And I'm going to do the view create. And I will hit create. I will create one more VM and follow the same steps. The VM name would be different. I do this. Create a resource 2016. And I will place it in this my VM2 East US no username uh, 
and our selected boards. It's in the same mainnet. Under management, I will disable this. Advanced tags, view create. And I'll hit create. It's initializing the deployment. My VM1 is created. Here you are. Till the time VM2 is getting created, I'm going to create additional DNS record here. So I'm going to go to my private zone here. This is my private zone. I'm going to click on record set. And under name, I'm going to type in DB. And I will type the IP address of VM1. P1 would be 10 like this. Okay. Now, if you want to test the name resolution for the private zone, now I will have to first of all allow the inbound ICMP on the VMs just to check that because ping would not work, right? So, I'm gonna connect to my VM1. using the public IP. I'm doing an RDP from my VM, from my laptop over the internet to VM1. Username and password, make sure you remember it. I'll connect, yes. It is taking me to the desktop of my VM1. All right, it is on desktop of my VM1. Here you go. And if I open firewall here to create an inbound rule, here it is. Inbound rules, new rule, port, next, TCP, or I can do for ICM, protocol, I would go for IC, any IP address. Finish. Right, I'm going to repeat the same for my VM2. I'll do the same and come back. Okay, so I completed that on VM2 as well. Now, if I sit on VM2 and open up the command prompt and try to ping, ping the name of my VM is my VM1. So, it would be uh, my VM1 See, this, see, both the records are auto-registered because I enable that option on the virtual network. So my, if you click on here, the name would be myvm1.private.assa.xyz. 
So if I do this, my name one dot private dot assert dot x y z. See, you're getting a reply, and it is coming from ten zero 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 four, right? So now you do ping my vm one. It is now you see this is the DNS name of the VM that is coming from the by default FQD. But if you do ping my VM with the private DNS zone name, it is also giving you the reply from 10.0.0.4, which is the IP address of my VM1. Right? So this is how you create private DNS zone you test it if you want to do the same you can do it and I hope this was informative for all of you guys and in the next video I'll give you a theory session on how you can use private DNS uh, scenarios so you get more clarity on this okay I hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.